how and why parmatma is like an eternal ocean and atma is an imperishable drop that is surrounded by the perishable human body krishna describes that ocean and says know that brilliance to be mine which residing in the sun illuminates the world which is in the moon as well as in fire permeating the earth i nourish all living beings with energy becoming the moon i nourish all plants with the juice of life having become fiery power i exist in the body of living beings united with prana inhalation of breath and apana exhalation i digest the fourfold food i am seated in the hearts of all beings and from me come smriti self awareness gyan wisdom and apohan clarifying doubts i alone am to be known by all the vedas i am the author of the vedanta and the knower of the meaning of the vedas firstly krishna says he is the brilliance of the sun which is sunlight and nourishes all living beings with energy plants convert it into the food we consume yesterday sunlight is what we are using as fossil fuels sunlight keeps water in the liquid state hence it enables us to exist and survive secondly krishna chose the process of digestion and breathing as a metaphor to explain the numerous processes that happen in the human body it is like the healing of a surgeon's incision it is the harmony between various organs and chemicals in the body making it functional science is good at answering the hows but not the whys how light works is explained but the answer to why is light dual is left open in these verses krishna explains that he is behind these whys while we struggle to get a certain answer to how and why these are nothing but his leela or divine drama